Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Old Golden Black for today's massive game, a quarter-final, England against Switzerland. Switzerland, of course, famous for cheese and chocolate and their neutrality. But today, they are going to face up against England in this quarter-final to face Croatia in the semi-final. Uh, we are without Sam Byron and Ryan Bertrand, so we're struggling a little bit in the full-back position. If you're new to this series and you're wondering why am I talking about Sam Byron and Ryan Bertrand in an England squad, well that's because this is not the England team that's going to be taking the field in the World Cup. It's going to be the bottom half of the Premier League and some championship players as well thrown in. And we've done it probably as good as or better than probably the real England team will do in the summer anyway. And if you if you missed the last episode, I do recommend that you go back and you look at that because it was an incredible three-all draw against Poland followed by a penalty shootout victory 5-4 magnificent performance so you can already see there two of the semi-finalists Croatia and Argentina uh, before our quarter-final now the quarter-final today uh, Sweden and Colombia and to be honest it seems as if all of the big teams are missing from from this stage of the tournament, apart from Argentina, really, I'd fancy my chances against any of these teams left in the competition. So let's see how we can get on. Can we? Well, Sweden there in the semi-final, so it's a big chance for England here. If we can get past Switzerland, we've got a semi-final that will await us. We're in the white kit again, as we have been the whole tournament. We're going all-out attack again. Uh, it's what we've been known for in this tournament, you know. Who have we got to look out for then? We've got Jan Sommer in goal. I've heard of him. Uh, Shakiri from Stoke, of course, number 16 there. Uh, Xhaka, Granite Xhaka, Boom Shakalaka, number 6. I've surpassed expectations, I think, with this squad at the moment. I didn't think, well, at times it looked like we might go out of the group stage, but to still be in the competition now and to be playing against Switzerland, I have to feel that things could go our way as the tournament goes on. And here's the first highlight of the game, first 10 minutes. Here's Zuba for for Switzerland, Shakiri, And a chance and a goal is Zuba, an early goal for Switzerland. And his first goal for the country as well. What a time to get it. And England, yet again, have got to come from behind in this tournament. But they've shown magnificent character throughout this uh, tournament. And they'll have to show it again. England looking tired after the last game against Poland, but they're still in with a shout in this game if they can just find the opportunities on the counter attack. I think. Right then, half time. An early goal for Switzerland at the moment is enough to see them through. We're not having enough possession. I'm going to be aggressive. They uh, might really give me a lot of options on what to say. They'll show me something else. And I'm going to have to make a change because we're just not doing enough. Uh, yeah, it's going to be James Madison coming on there for Carroll. And we're going to push him further upfield like we did uh, in the last game when we were looking for stuff to happen. Chance there for Switzerland, but hopefully we can nick this and break ourselves. Grealish fouls him. Giving away a free kick for the first minute of the second half. Rodriguez and Shakiri is blocked. And here comes England now. Madison, can he pick the ball? He goes to Townsend on the right-hand side. Forward to Wilson. Wilson gets the ball across. Grealish. Oh, much better. Much better from England. And now we're in trouble. Harris, good tackle from Tarkovsky. And now England break again. Sturridge out wide to Townsend. who plays it forward towards Wilson. But he can't get hold of the ball. Shakiri, Harris, and a chance here for Switzerland, and they've scored again. Is Zuber again? <sighs> he hadn't scored for Switzerland before today, and now he scored two. I think we've met our match here. I can't see us turning this around. Quarterfinals are probably as far as we can go. Oh, we've got a corner here though. Grealish to take it. I've accidentally pressed pause. Sturridge, Wilson, and Switzerland clear. And it 
could be through here. Oh, we win it back, and Sturridge is chasing after it. It's end to end stuff here. Townsend into the box. Sturridge has got to go back. It's on. It is on. Is Harris for Switzerland? Been forced back a little bit. Xhaka. Shakiri. Through ball there to Zuba, and Harris makes it 3 1. The two goal lead is restored. And that's that. You have to think. I can't see England turning this one around. Chance in from a corner. Grealish into the box. And now we get attacked again. Rodriguez. Being tracked there by whoever's playing as receiver, isn't it? Left back. Shalaba. Grealish. And away. And Zuba on a hat trick, of course. Never scored for his country before today. And. Here we go again, Zuba hits it, but Heaton saves. 15 minutes to go. Switzerland 3, England 1. Freuler, Shalaba wins it, and he plays it long to Sturridge. Chance here for England to get a second. And it's blocked, and again, Mbolo brings it away for Switzerland. It's relentless from the Swiss. And chance for fourth, no, England get it away. And a oh, good play there. Sturridge at the edge of the box, swings it in, and it's Madison, and it is 3-2. They are back in the game again. Surely we can't have another 3-3. Three, three. Here's Switzerland, and they're coming forward, and that's just wide. Ooh, oh, gutted. Well, I think England gave everything. I think if they hadn't have had such a tiring game against Poland in the second round, they would have done better in that game. To come out of the competition at the quarterfinal stage is not embarrassing at all. Um, you know, I'd, it's been interesting the rest of the tournament um, because of who has left in it. Uh, if you look at the semi finals, who have we got in the semi final stage? Argentina against Sweden, Croatia against Switzerland. So we'd have been playing against Croatia, who have been quite impressive so far in this tournament. Alright, so in the end, uh, Croatia. Batter in Switzerland 4-0 in the semi-final. Really disappointing to to lose to such a poor team, really. So Switzerland did make a bit of a comeback and they finished third in the end. Uh, penalty there from Shah at the end. So the final then, Argentina against Croatia. Which surprisingly was won by Croatia. Coming back from 1-0 uh, down, Icardi taking the lead for Argentina and then Mandzukic and Rakitic scoring for Croatia and securing their first ever World Cup win uh, so thank you very much to everybody who's watched and supported this uh, little series if you've enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on these videos and subscribe to the channel and perhaps in the future I might do a few more football manager videos let me know what you think about that uh, anyway <laughs> Um, if anybody's still watching, thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon for more great content. Bye-bye.